Watch this woman eat a lot of food and tell me if you see anything fishy about this. Because people are cancelling her right now, saying she is faking all of this. I'm pretty sure this girl has been playing us longer than anybody else. After all, how could someone skinny like her never gain weight after eating massive amounts of food? To be clear, we're talking food servings that can serve a five people family and she says she eats it every day. This is one of my favorite things to eat. It's a cheeseburger patty. This is scientifically not possible. So that brings the total to 5,500. Her name is Tram Tran, also known as Baby Dumpling on TikTok. And she's already got 1.8 million followers, exactly because of her mysteriously endless appetite. TikTok, and when people ask me what I do, I'm like, I just eat. Like, I because who doesn't dream of eating whatever food they want in however big of a portion without ever getting fat, right? Wow, they're huge. That's why at first people just assumed she maybe has a fast metabolism or something. But later on people started spotting what they called evidence of her lying. For the last like six months I've watched you, I thought you were eating all your food. But your videos have become a little bit sloppy and I don't believe you. So is she really faking it? Keep watching for a major reveal. Because here's the thing, some of her critics pointed out she's not even swallowing her food. We have never, ever, ever, and I mean ever, seen her swallow a single bite of the food. They claim she just pretends to put the food in her mouth and then cuts the video to the next bite. So it seems like she's eating the whole thing. After all, what could possibly explain how she gets to finish this much? And this much? So much food that even TikTok labels it dangerous. But here's where the drama got more serious. Because a TikToker named The Nutritionist Ark suddenly exposed her, saying her friend admitted it was all staged. There's just no way to eat this much day after day and stay that lean. And recently I was reached out to by someone very close to her. And they explained that this is all a facade. And this person told me that they'll go out to eat and she will either purge, throw up all of the food, or take one bite of it and spit it out. This guy said it out loud, that this woman probably has one of the worst cases of an eating disorder. I feel like she cut this hot dog in half to make it seem like she actually ate it. I don't know. And if this were true, we should definitely be concerned because she's promoting unhealthy eating while making people believe there are no consequences. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Except this big TikTok influencer never really responded to any accusations other than finally doing this. An uncut version of her mukbang for everyone to judge. This time, no chance to skip the swallowing. I have a hundred and ten pieces of sushi I got delivered. But people were still not convinced. They insist she was spitting into the jar instead of drinking. And they think it was suspicious that her camera died in the middle of filming, giving her time to maybe purge what she ate. Now my camera died, so I still haven't eaten anything, I don't, but this is what I have left. Last day of peace. Okay. So what is the truth? Well, many people also believe her. You don't know how much she works out. You don't know how much calories she intake when she's not making those videos. Her friends even shared social media stories from before she was famous to prove she has always been such a big eater. Your TikToks are such a safe space for me. I'm sorry you felt the need to prove yourself this way. I'm currently struggling with eating disorder and your videos always encourage me to get well again and guys this is very important to put out there because none of the people who don't believe her including the guy who claimed her friends reached out to him have shown any solid proof it's all been theories and as for her well, even she doesn't really understand how all of this is possible for her. Maybe fast metabolism, maybe genetics. She said, I have three Big Macs, one quarter pounder with cheese, a cinnamon roll, fries, 10 nuggets, two apple pies, and my favorite, three McChickens.
and a sprite. And maybe, Night Farm, this is the real lesson in this video. Yes, it definitely is true that not everything on social media is what it seems. I love anything cake batter. I love my chickens. But seeing it for what it is right now, we need to remind ourselves it's never okay to be going around claiming to have figured someone out or worse, declaring with full confidence that they have disorders they themselves didn't even disclose. We both eat a ton of crazy cheat meals. The only difference here is I don't fake that. Until we have met someone in real life, maybe we're all better off not putting words in people's mouths.